Hey everyone, my name is Carla and welcome to Transit Online. It's week 10, can you believe it? We are so fortunate to have access to amazing content and today's message is from Life Church, and it's a one-part message on building healthy routines. Now even though most of us have gotten a routine down already, I'm sure there are areas that we want to improve and I think this message will be helpful for us. So take note and I'll see you guys after. Hey, in today's video, we are going to learn how to build healthy routines during quarantine from some of our other Switch students. You won't want to miss it, so stick around. Hey, if you are anything like me, then at some point during this process, you have probably found yourself thinking, I know I need to do blank, but I just really don't feel like it right now. I know that I need to eat healthy. I know that I need to go work out. I know that I need to put my phone down, but I just don't feel like it right now. If that is you, please comment below so that I don't just feel bad and know and think that it's just me. You are not alone, right? Our entire worlds have been flipped upside down and we're all trying to figure out Man, how do we navigate this interesting season we find ourselves in well? What I hope that today will be able to help you do is to identify a couple of key things that you can do to build healthy routines. And this is so important because what we've got to understand is that the routines we build today will shape who we become tomorrow. What we're going to do is we're going to look at four key areas that we're going to build routines in. Area number one is spiritually. Area number two is relationally. Area number three is physically. Yes, come on somebody, we're gonna do some push-ups. <laughs> and then finally, area number four is mentally. What we're gonna be talking about is how we can build routines during quarantine to help us be healthy spiritually, relationally, physically, and mentally. Because what we know is that the routines we build today will shape who we become tomorrow. And we know that small changes can make a big difference. So with all that being said, I want you to get to hear from one of your fellow Switch students, a student named Gabe Fontanez out at Stillwater, Oklahoma. He's gonna show us how he chooses to stay healthy spiritually every single day. Check it out. Hey Switch, I'm Gabe from Life Church Stillwater, and I'm about to take you through my daily routine that's keeping me spiritually healthy during quarantine. So, start off, got my little Oh, vibe station here. Got everything nice and neat and organized. Keeps my brain focused. I start every morning with a daily devotional. I read one of those and that helps me start off my day strong. And then I'll read a chapter in Proverbs and Proverbs is just straight knowledge and what's better than knowledge. So then I go throughout my day. I listen to a little bit of worship, pray, you know, and then I'll, I'll come upstairs, I'm winding down. I open up this great book, Love Does by Bob Goff. Amazing, I try to read a chapter every night. And uh, actually, I have my favorite quote from this book right now. Failure is just a part of the process. And it's, and it's not just okay, it's better than okay. That's so powerful to me because when you fail, it might not seem like a good thing, but in the long run, God is building you for something greater. God is building your testimony. And I just love that so much. Uh, peace. A couple key takeaways you can get from Gabe. Number one, get yourself a vibe spot, right? Like <laughs> That little quiet time table couch setup he had is legit. I know for me, it's so helpful to have a place I go every morning to read my Bible and to journal. So if you don't have the version Bible app, download it. It's totally free and it's one of the best resources you can possibly ever have to grow healthy spiritually. Right now though, we're going to look at Area number two, we're going to talk about how do we build routines that will help us be healthy relationally. We're looking at our friend Megan from Norman, Oklahoma. Check it out. Hi, I wanted to talk about how I've been keeping my relationships healthy. I haven't seen my friends in person in probably six weeks now, but that doesn't mean that I have to let my relationships go stagnant. With all the COVID stuff, the world needs some love. Love that we have in Jesus, but we can't pour from an empty cup, meaning we can't keep giving and giving without letting Jesus fill us back up. And in my life, he does that in two ways, through the Bible and through my friends. So since quarantine, I've been killing two birds with one stone by doing a Bible plan a week with one of my friends. This is Mallory. And my favorite Bible plan that we've done is called Walking Through Spiritual Valleys. We're both seniors. And so the end of the school year 
has definitely not been ideal. No prom, no graduation. But this Bible plan just showed us how God moves through the difficult times. He doesn't move when things are easy or when we're comfortable. So he is definitely moving right now. But the Bible app has been a great way for me to stay connected with my friends and to have the conversations that actually matter. Because we have people in our lives who are there for us and who want to help us through whatever we're going through, whether that's in person or not. What's so cool though about this time we're living in today is that because of technology, we can find unconventional ways to be connected relationally even when we're physically separated. So whether it's you version plans with friends, whether it's a Zoom call, whether it's a hangout, whether it's FaceTime, whatever, I mean, what is it gonna look like for you to build a routine that will help you stay relationally healthy? Now, speaking of physically, routine area number three we're talking about is how do we build healthy physical routines so that we are actually like physically healthy, right? I need that six pack, I need to be shredded, all of those things, just kidding. It's way more serious, way more simple than that. <laughs> um, but let's go right now to our friend Josie from Life Church Jinx. What's up, Life Church? My name is Josie Green, and I'm a capacity student from Life Church Jinx in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'm going to be telling you a couple ways to stay physically active during quarantine. Physical activity is not only important for your body and to stay in shape, but it's also great for your mind and mental health. Sometimes it just feels great to go outside and take a walk. One thing that's helped me to stay motivated and physically active is to create a schedule. If you say you're going to work out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, stick to that and you'll be so proud of yourself for the outcome and you might find a new hobby that you love. Here are some of my favorite workouts. Those are just a few of my favorite at-home workouts and there's so many more like it all over TikTok and YouTube. Go ahead and check them out and tag me in your videos. Bye guys! Super simple, super easy, right? Get outside, create a schedule, watch TikToks or YouTube videos for inspiration. And I think it's simple, it's healthy, and what we know is that, man, when we choose to be healthy physically, it has an impact on every other part of our lives, right? When you crush a workout, you just feel really good about it. So what's it gonna look like for you to build healthy physical routines during quarantine? We talked about spiritually, we talked about relationally, we talked about physically, finally, we're talking about how do we stay mentally healthy during quarantine? What are some routines that we can build? And for that, we're gonna go to our friend from Overland Park, uh, Avery, check it out. Hey Switch, it's me, Avery. And if you don't know me, I'm a super extroverted person. I love hanging out with my friends and my family, but during quarantine, I can't see my friends at all. And I get to hang out with my family and I love them, but there are some times where I just need some me time. <laughs> So to keep myself mentally sane during this time, I either tap, go biking, or run. But let's be real honest, it just kind of turns into a walk. I woke up one day kind of getting bored of the same routine I was doing. So I decided to go outside into the beautiful air and do two things, read and journal. I am reading The Fault in Our Stars right now. You can read any book that you want, doesn't matter. But this is a good way just to get your mind flowing, get those words going through your head because we're not actually in school and it's hard to be motivated. So me, find a really good book to engage me has been very helpful for me. The second thing is, oh, those are my masks. You know, stay healthy. The second thing is journaling. Uh, I write all my feelings in here because I find it very hard to talk about my feelings. So writing it on a piece of paper and then saying it out loud into the open has helped me so much. Also, I get to talk to the Lord in this journal. So yeah, that's what I do for stand mentally healthy. Hope you guys like it. Bye. I know for me during this time, this is one of the things I've been trying to do more is just sit down and read a book and it's been so, so valuable for me personally. So all that being said, right, you've seen four different examples from four different students about the types of routines they've built to be healthy spiritually, relationally, physically, and mentally. Before we end this thing though, I want you guys to hear some incredible leadership content from our senior pastor, Craig Rochelle, who recently released an episode of his leadership podcast about how we can lead from home in a way where we're healthy ourselves so that we can bring our best to the people who matter. The most difficult person to lead in the world is yourself. If you wanna be effective, here's my advice. Continue to lead with effective and normal routines. Go to bed at the normal time, then set your alarm, get up the next day at the normal time. This is my bias, my suggestion. What I would recommend you do is that you take a shower, get dressed, 
Wear some clothes that you're telling yourself, this is gonna be a good day. What I wanna do is I want my body to follow the normal routines which trigger my mind. Today is an important day. I'm trying to trigger those uh, pathways in my brain that says I'm an effective leader, I'm gonna be productive today, I'm gonna get a lot done. If I'm only gonna do three things today, these are the top three priorities. Do them first. Do first what's most important. If you do three things, you're gonna feel like I'm winning today, I'm productive today, I'm moving the ball forward, I am an effective leader, and then you can move on to the other things. But if you set a very clear goal, these are the three things that I will get done, you're gonna feel productive and you're gonna create some momentum. If you can't do a lot of what you've normally done, I would recommend that you just find something to do that stretches you. Listen to a podcast, read a good book, stretch your mind, do something that helps you feel like you're improving as a leader. Don't just slip into the veg mode where you don't do much at all. Where are you gonna face the biggest battles? You're gonna face the biggest battle in your mind. In fact, most of life's biggest battles are fought in your mind. I always say that your life is moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. Where are your current thoughts taking you? So many people that I'm talking to right now, they are in total wig out, panic, freak out mode. Is this an incredibly global, incredible global challenge? Yes, but at the same time, wise leaders make wise decisions, fight to keep your mind in, make sure your thoughts are moving in the same and right direction. To be really transparent, when I was in a strict 14 day quarantine, I found myself battling moments of depression and anxiety and shortness of breath. What I had to do is train my mind back on truth, renew my mind with truth, and tell myself again and again, this will pass. But I want you to understand that if you're listening to this in 2023, you're gonna be saying, oh, I remember that. Life will be different, but we're not gonna be quarantined forever. This will pass. Where are your thoughts taking you? Where are your routines taking you? Are they taking you to a healthier version of yourself or a less healthy version of yourself? My hope is that you will recognize that small changes make a big difference. And there are small things that we can do today in quarantine to be healthier and better tomorrow when life finally goes back to normal. Don't feel like you have to do everything we talked about in this video. This is for you to get some ideas, some inspiration, some examples of what it could look like. Pick one thing. Pick one thing that you can do differently today so that you will be better tomorrow. And then comment below what it's gonna look like for you. What area are you going to focus on? And what is one thing that you're gonna do differently so that you can be healthier on the other side of quarantine? Hey, thank you so much for joining us for today's video. It was a pleasure to be here with you. If you're new with us, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned to all things Switch Youth. We love having you here. Like the video, comment below to let us know what kind of videos you wanna see because our goal is to help you become the person that we believe God has created you to be. So comment below. We wanna help you in whatever way we can and we hope to see you back next week. See ya. So how is your quarantine routine? Do you think you'll come out of this a stronger person? Do you think your routine is something that will make you better? Those are some questions to really ponder on, right? So remember that small changes can make a big difference and our routine today can help shape who we become tomorrow. I thought those were some really great ideas and let's talk about it more in our online small group. I'll see you guys there at 2 p.m. And to those who are new, thank you for joining us and hope to see you guys again next week. Have a great weekend.